All right, guys, good morning. We just got back from taking the kid to school. Let's see what we're going to do to get our day started. Bear with me. Here we go. I just pulled in the house. Let's take a look here. Show you guys what we have to do today. The garage is a total mess. We're going to use this, my favorite money maker, the Scott's. And we're going to grab one of these here. We've been using these. The Scott's Grubby Gun Max. Now, it is a little late in the season to be putting Scott's down, but that's what the customer wants. So, we're taking that, and then we are going to grab the spreader. Always use a spreader. Oh, geez. All right, got that. Got that in there. Bam. All right, guys. So after we do the Scott Scrub Be Gone, it's terrible lighting there. We are going out to a house in Newcastle and we are going to be putting uh, some work in today, boy. We've got uh, Corey and Hugo are out currently cutting some lawns and then what we're doing this afternoon is a brush hogging job uh, without the brush hog. <laughs> we're going to just try and weed whack the, the heck out of this stuff and take down probably about a quarter acre of weeds that are about three feet tall. So it's going to be interesting. Stick with us, stick along. We'll catch up with you guys soon. Peace. All right, guys, welcome back. We're here at the yard. We are gonna put the Scots down. Let's go get it. So this is the yard here, next corner lot. Just needs a little bit of help. Like every yard did not do so well this summer. So I am gonna set you guys up here on a tripod and you can kind of watch me Spread this stuff out. Three and a half. That's all you need for this. Very fine pellet. Here we go.
one bag will cover approximately 1300 square feet that's what you need to know customer also wants some of this chicken manure I happen to have in the garage so I said I would leave him that and I really like the chicken manure it's good organic fertilizer won't harm anything gotta get paid all right let's head back to the truck back to the garage wait for the guys to come back and uh, we're gonna take you out to that brush hog job it's gonna be interesting so on that note we'll catch you guys on the flip side Hey guys, so I just got a call. Corey and Hugo are back. They are finished the lawns this morning and we're gonna surprise them when we open the door because they know we have the GoPro. They know I wanna do YouTube, but they don't know that I have it right now ready to go. So this is gonna be a funny, unfiltered reaction to see if they like a camera in their face. Here we go. Yo. What's going on? Is that what you got? Oh yeah, we got it. We're all hooked up here, boys. Sweet. How'd it go this morning? It was good. Yeah, was Hugo, good. say hi. How are you? What's going on? This is Hugo. Got, got the water. There you go. We gotta stay hydrated. It's key. Yeah, the lawns were good. They were Easy. good. Yeah. yeah. Easy morning. Nope. The, the bi-weekly customer was. Uh, it was pretty long. Not as long as last time. So yeah. you didn't need the double cut. Very good. Hello. Corey calling stockbroker. What's going on? Calling the pops. Ah, yeah, I already <laughs> talked to him. So when did you get this well, thing? The got it all set up this morning, actually. Did you get it? Uh, did you buy it today? Well, I went last night and oh, bought it. Yeah. And then uh, this morning, I had what to get a get? memory card to get it going. So. Sweet. What yeah. is that? Hero what? Hero 9 just nine? came out. They're, at, like, they're up to 9 now. Buddy, just came out September 16th. Dude, I have the original look, one. Look how good you look on this, man. Look, you let can see, see yourself. Let me try this thing. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. I have the original number one. It's not anything like this. No, this thing's super nice, man. Huh? Yeah, this is sick. Yeah, super high resolution. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to take it with us and uh, well, see how we brush hogs. Things. What, uh, what came with it? Pretty much nothing. You just got to buy it I all. Got, I got a good pole you could borrow for a while if you want. Yeah, a bigger so. one. Yeah, you got. The, I like this little one. Like yeah, it's, that one's clutch. It's like, I don't know, a few inches and then it tripods too. Oh, sick. So I can just put it there. And that, and that came with it? No, I bought that. Oh, okay. It was probably like 50 bucks. Best Buy, super cheap. <laughs> oh, no, it's, looking at it's looking at you. Little hitch time. All right, let's get her going. You gotta make sure you get a before and after this one. Oh, buddy, we're gonna have a video of this one. <laughs> we all good? I think so. All right. Good? I think so. Gotta get that train out. Hook yeah, we're going to need that hookup. Oh, look at this tractor going by. Wow. There's one you don't see every day. The That's the one across from Teacher's house, I think. That's huge. All right, come on. Let's get hooked up. Hugo, man the camera. Alrighty. We'll man the camera. Let's get this hookup on video here. Hooking up the small open trailer. Backup camera is key. Try not to run the kid over here. Line her up, line her up, line her up, line her up. Whoa. Oh, bumped it. <laughs> Got a small bump. <laughs> Crank it, crank it, crank it. You gotta love that camera on the truck. Flip, lock it, and load. Safety chains. 
changing lights, bud. That's what we need. We need the, uh, the other mowing head for the, uh, where is that other mowing head? Mowing head? Trimmer head? Yeah. I don't know, probably in your garage or something. Oh, Fucking on the 56. We gotta take that off. We'll be using that for the 131. So, we gotta unlock all three. Do you have a key for this one? Yeah, of course. Yeah, just hook those in the uh, echo into the rack. Yeah. And uh, maybe you can get it without unlocking it. Uh, well, actually, no, because we'll have to lock the head up in the box. Thirty-one. It's gonna rip through those weeds. Right, guys here we go let's see what we're dealing with just a little bit of brush over here just a wee bit we are gonna be cutting out all of this man and it goes far it goes super far <laughs> this is a crazy job we're getting ourselves into here this goes very very far as far as you can see I don't know should have had the brush hog should have had the brush hog we'll see might have to get one anyways you guys ready oh, yeah. 
All right. Yeah. All trimmers. Let's see what happens. What's going on, guys? Okay, we are about 20 minutes or so into this crazy job, and I am absolutely covered in all kinds of fun stuff here. Uh, the 131, the combi, it's working great. We're mowing it down with the black diamond string from Echo. We got this from our, our dealer, uh, Crown Maintenance. Shout out to Shannon for the hookup. I have no idea where the spool is now. It's around, trust me, that's what we're using. That's where we got it. If you guys are in Durham region, recommend Crown Maintenance. Shannon, Anna, all the team, excellent. They'll always look after you. Lord knows they look after us. Okay guys, let me show you where we're at. This is about after 20 minutes. Um, we've just been going crazy with the trimmers. So the idea here is to, I guess, eventually try to blend the lawn from this section over to the other section here behind the trees that the customer owns. Um, so let's take you in a little closer and you can see how these guys are doing it. So what do you think, Corey? How's it going? It's a mess. <laughs> you guys are covered in stuff here. Getting somewhere. Just covered. Got pretty far. It's only been, it's been like half an hour. Half an hour? I was saying 20 minutes. Half an hour. Yeah, we've covered a lot here. Whew. Where Although, are we going to? Uh, basically, we're going to go all the way Down up to the up to where the property line is. Oh, okay. So what do you think, Corey? Should we have gotten the brush cutter or is this working? Ah, this works, man. Just got to... Rip it and rip oh, it, man. Three of us, this is quick. Look at this. All right, there and you have it. I was also delayed for like probably five minutes. My trimmer was giving me some problems. Yeah, I found mine was, uh, it almost seemed like it was almost overheating in a way. So just give them a few minutes, cool down. Wow. What trimmer are you using here, Hugo? You've got the uh, what do I got steel here? KM94 steel. combi with just the regular mowing head attached to it. Oh yeah. How are you find? Is it ripping through? It's a beast, man. Beast, there you go. And here, Corey, he's our in-house Echo fan. Oh yeah. Like and again, it. he's using the 2620 commercial X grade. Series. And it's ripping through pretty good with the black diamond line, so. Echo, Echo, top notch, bro. All right, there you have it, guys, Echo, Echo. We are gonna get back to it, and we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, let's go for a walk and show an update. This has gone better than expected using three trimmers. We have cleared a significant portion out. All of this where I'm walking, these weeds were three, four feet high in some cases. I am thoroughly impressed that the combis and the Echo 2620 could get through all of this. Very impressed by it. As you can see, we got pretty far. And we've basically opened up to the other property now. So, the other thing we have left, I told the customer, we would help them out get rid of all of these bags here but apparently there's a, a beehive or a wasp colony in there so i think we'll leave that until until the frost comes and takes care of those so you can see we've made it to the shed and uh we're just about there 
and now it opens up the property this is a another part of it that we mow every week and it'll be possible now they can run through in between the different sections so i don't know we got away without the brush cutter which was uh something i thought we would need but saves ourselves on the rental it's probably 150 bucks in my pocket and uh hey if you can make do with equipment you own put it to work that's what you invested in it for make life easy anyways guys uh i'm not going to tell you what we're what we're charging the customer to do this job but uh it is worthwhile and uh just remember guys um like one of my favorite YouTubers, Keith Kalfas, says, uh, you have to know your worth. Don't come out here and do something like this for a hundred bucks and risk, you know, bugs, spikes, Lyme disease is real, poison ivy could have been all through here. Luckily, I didn't find any. But uh, yeah, charge appropriately. All right. Hey, what's going on, guys? So today went pretty well, in my opinion. I think we uh, I think we had a good day. That brush hog job went really, really well. Uh, I couldn't have any complaints about that. I can't believe that we actually got through it without the brush hog. Uh, customer was really happy. We, uh, we talked to him about uh, maintaining that section of the property going forward. And I think it's going to be nice if we can just trim it down every couple of weeks or or uh or even mow it potentially mulch it with a 21 inch or a 30 inch uh just so it doesn't get to be a huge project in the future um there if you noticed in the video earlier there were some uh some swings there in the tree um so i know he has uh some kids like to play there in the in the little treed area there and uh um yeah i think it'll just really open up the property really helped the family get more use out of it and he was totally thrilled um one thing that i did uh when i did send the invoice to the customer i did give him a little bit of a discount on it um not not for any reason other than the fact uh i i did tell the customer that we would try and remove some of the uh cut materials that we that we cut down but as we found going along there uh, really it would have been impractical and, and really unnecessary to try and rake any of that stuff up and haul it out with a truck and trailer. It just didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so to be honest, uh, we always want to be honest with our customers, guys. Don't try and pull the wool over their eyes. Um, we really base that quote on the fact that I thought I would have trailer load after trailer load of stuff to dispose of at the dump uh well compost facility where we live um and we didn't need to do that so i i didn't think it was right to charge the customer the full price uh when we didn't end up having to do a, a what would have been a significant portion of that job uh so i i think that's something to remember in your in your business in your lawn landscape business is be honest with your customers uh people people can read you really really easily um you know what just treat people the way you want to be treated i think that goes beyond business that goes beyond lawn and landscape that's just in life just do unto others as you wish to be done to you or however that saying goes i don't know it's late guys i'm filming this out in the garage um it is after hours uh wife's gone to bed little guy's asleep um yeah i just wanted to wrap up the video um that's it guys that's all, that's all i got for you tonight um if you couldn't tell or if i'm really coming off as an amateur right now uh it's because i am actually speaking of being honest and not trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes uh this is my first day ever filming my business and it's my first day with a brand new gopro um never done anything like this before but i have really 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 enjoyed the content that the youtube community creates um, I really owe a debt of gratitude to all of the content creators out there, big, small, uh, great, mediocre, and everyone in between. Uh, I think it's really cool with this industry and our community how we can share our thoughts, ideas, our experiences, and really 
become better uh, by helping each other. I'm, I'm not one to diss the other guy or make fun of the other guy or, or put someone down. I mean, we're all coming into this at different levels. Some guys are weekend warriors. Hey, that's cool, man. You got to, you know, you got bills to pay. You, you want to take a vacation. You want to buy that special something for that special someone. Do the weekend thing, man. Get your hundred bucks cash for a couple of lawns, whatever it might be. Uh, that's okay. For me, I uh, my story is I started in a completely different industry. Um, never did anything like this before. Uh, I worked in the corporate world, suit and tie. Uh, you know the drill. I'm sure we'll talk more about it down the road. Um, but I just want to give a huge shout out to the people who really uh, opened my eyes to what this industry could be about, um, how this can be a sustainable business, a great career, provide for a family, and ultimately make you very happy and uh, be very rewarded and satisfied with what you do. Um, first of all, I, I'm just going to rhyme off guys, some of, uh, some of the people out there in social media who have changed my life and who I am forever thankful for. And the purpose of this YouTube, uh, endeavor, this channel, this video creation, content creation is not to be, uh, other people who have come before me or to try and be bigger or better or make those YouTube millions. Hey, Brian Fullerton, what's up, buddy? Um, that is not the goal here. Um, but I just want to say a big thanks. Uh, number one for me and uh, super, super positive guy. Always a big promoter of everyone willing to put the work in. Uh, Brian Fullerton, Brian's Lawn Maintenance. Uh, Mike Bedell, his friend uh, Brandon from Envision Landscape. Uh, those three guys in Michigan, fantastic. Keith Kalfas, also from Michigan. Dude, uh, just changing lives, man, with your motivational speaking. I really appreciate everything you guys put out there. Um, in Ohio, Spencer's Lawn Care. Uh, amazing how husband and wife team can work together like that. I, I just love to follow you guys on the daily. Uh, Nick, Saving Green, Wapacha, Ninja. Yep, I love to watch the Sensei down in Tennessee. He's... Uh, He's someone I love to follow along. Super nice guy. Um, gosh, who else? Uh, Blake, B&B Lawn Care. Um, definitely Brian, Top Notch. Uh, oh my gosh, Stets Lawn Care. Uh, I believe Oklahoma City, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Jonathan, Florida Pro, uh, Turf Pro. Sorry, Florida Turf Pros. Jonathan, uh, always with the solid business advice. Um, not so much on the vlogs, but uh, definitely, Jonathan, you have changed my perspective um, into residential lawn care and how uh, things like knowing our numbers and, and our efficiencies and uh, really paying attention to the business side can uh, can drive success really, really quickly and scale up to something uh, very impressive. Um, Randy, Countryside uh, Vlogs, uh, there in New York, uh, probably pretty close to the border. We're here in Ontario. I know I've heard you uh, speak in videos about being in Niagara Falls. That's awesome. Maybe one day when that border reopens, we can uh, we can meet up. And the other Canadian uh, uh, out there on YouTube, and of course his podcast, Lawn Care Business Success, uh, Julio Tomei, uh, my fellow Canuck, Dude, thank you for everything. Yours was the first podcast I actually ever listened to in uh, not just lawn care, but podcasts in general. Um, really cool to hear a Canadian perspective and someone living in Vancouver. We can relate in these Toronto suburbs with the small lots, small mowers. Um, as you guys can see, my 21 uh, Toro, uh, that thing has been probably the most profitable awesome machine i have uh i have owned uh, to date so i just want to say thanks to i'm rambling now and i apologize guys it's late on a friday night um just feeling really grateful really humbled um really love the experience today the first time ever filming what we do I didn't know that it was this much fun. I guess it makes sense why uh, everyone's running around uh, trying to work and film at the same time. Um, but I just want to say thank you to everyone out there who's come before us, who's continuing to make things happen and making positive changes in your life. That's what it's about, supporting your family and ultimately, guys, being happy and being satisfied. Um, I really don't care if I make... 10 grand, 100 grand, or 100 million dollars. 
um, so long as I'm happy. Uh, and uh, those around me, those people that I love and care for and love and care for me, um, they, they know that. Uh, they, they see it. Um, friends of mine have seen positive changes since I've started doing this uh, a few years ago now. And uh, I wouldn't change it for the world, guys. I love this. Find your passion. And honestly, it's been a while since I've actually uh, done a day's work. Um, and I don't, I don't mean that literally, but it hasn't felt like work. Uh, being my own boss, doing what I love to do, uh, obviously working with my brother, uh, brother-in-law, um, awesome guys. Uh, anyways, that's it for me. I digress. I'm signing off. I hope I can figure out how to even edit a video and get it onto YouTube and get it out there to you guys. And uh, hey, cool. If somebody watches it, man, thumbs up. Why not? We got to get the first like from someone. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.